Okay. I'm just gonna place. Hello, it's Laifa. How are you? Guess what I'm gonna say? I didn't really vlog. I thought I would just kind of have a sit down with you. What you last saw was me going to Israel's assembly. He was so confident and bold and I was like, you go, like I'm so proud of him. Some of you have been so sweet asking me how I'm doing. It's currently having physio. I managed to put my hair like this because this is pretty much the only style I was able to do by myself. The other day I tried to put my hair in a low bun and I could only Pull it to the side. You can grab yourself a tea as well if you wish. I got Odessa was ears pierced. I got my ears pierced as a baby. I turned out fine. My ears are fine. My mother got her ears pierced as a baby. My grandmother got her ears pierced as a baby. My great grandmother and probably my great 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 grandmother. I'll show you the day that we got that done. So, um, watch that. <laughs> This or you have no idea like doing your hair is just such an integral part of your life experience this is just the beginning okay oh mom i can't do this with one hand so today i'm actually in a rush we are going to get adessa's ears pierced finally before you ask me yes i am getting her ears pierced i know some people are like totally against it and whatnot I don't, I'm not here to hear that. Yeah, I had my ears pierced as a baby. So I thought I would bring you along, but I'm running so late. The Madre's downstairs, because obviously she's got to help me push the push chair. Come with. So get my purse. Bye <laughs> to me. Yeah, so that was pretty much that. I didn't actually record the process. I actually took it really well. Totally off the subject, or is it on the subject? But for those of you who are not married or you haven't had kids yet, you'd be surprised at some of the things that can cause arguments that you didn't think would because you never discussed it before you had children or before you got married. Things like getting your child's ears pierced or, you know, circumcision and it can get quite political and heated if it's something that you you're both from different points of views and you both have um different opinions and different cultural beliefs or whatever towards a certain issue and it could cause some serious beef <laughs> like in you know in the relationship fortunately with me it wasn't uh, with us it wasn't the case i just thought i'd mention it because it's something to think about I've been at home a lot of the time. I haven't really wanted to vlog that much because I've just been like plotting around. I say plotting because I have to keep myself busy. Even little things like grocery shopping. I've been doing online shopping, which I never really previously did. Oh, thank you. I've been clearing out. Been, as I said, I've been plotting around the house. So I could show you some footage of that. So this is the mess that is currently taking place. I know I look wreckage today. I'm getting stronger, I'm getting stronger. I'm not wearing a sling. I'm sort of tidying up my office area. People wanted to see my office space and it's not really an office space. It's my cornerstone. It's the little corner of my bedroom. Yeah, I'm rejigging stuff and there's clothes and boxes everywhere. Yeah, so today is literally clearing out and sorting through some of my stuff so you can watch me do that if you like actually i might just prop you up on some boxes not a very this is not a good angle at all not for anyone 
most certainly not for me but this is the Rhodes mic that I spoke about in one of my videos where I was talking about the technical equipment that I use you know what? I need more tea should we get more tea <laughs> changed positions and I'm literally all of this is just stuff that needs sorting out old costume jewelry look at this what was I thinking these are so fun these are so fun I love I'm keeping I'm keep I'm keeping these I used, to, I used to have a thing for butterflies as well because I used to love Mariah Carey I secretly still do and so I had like loads of butterfly earrings I'm serving you Pat Butcher all day long from EastEnders just pretend you can't see the mess I'm gonna sort that out in a minute I promise this can oh I love these if I find the other pair keeping them I need to bring back the me that is Adesua is in her cot she has decided to join me in the bedroom to do some organizing isn't that right baby girl say yes mommy Yes, yes. I just find a lot of um, rooms or corners in my home have to be multifunctional. You know, I spend a lot of time at home. I'm living here and I'm potentially working from home as well. So I'm always clearing out. And somebody said something. I realise that sometimes I say things without explaining. So you get me misconstrued and I want to go back to that so there was a situation where my sister bought the boys a toy car like one of those electronic cars and I was making a big thing about her taking it back and she's my sister so we have that kind of relationship so I can ask her to take it back but only because she knows the space that I live in I store their toys in drawers and you know keep them unless it's something that they absolutely love i keep them a medium to a small size because the living room is their playroom as well as my living room so at the end of the day when i'm tidying up i don't still want to feel like i'm in a nursery with all these big toys sort of loitering around the house do you understand what i mean not that i don't accept gifts or i don't buy my children toys far from it so um I hope that explains that situation. I have to be quite strategic with my storage. So, and if you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about, I'll probably link it. If you if you haven't watched some of my old vlogs, I'll link it back. Israel recently had a summer fair at school, so we went to that. <laughs> That was a really sweet day out as a family. I've been very much at home a lot of the time. Um, my mum, who is a superstar, my husband, who is a superstar, they've really stepped up, like, having to take on the load that I would usually do myself. But I've basically just got a whiteboard <laughs> and I've got Monday to Saturday and all the activities that they do throughout the week are listed on the timetable so that everybody's in the loop and everybody understands so mummy understands when i say mummy i mean my mum understands and then hubby understands what's going on throughout their week because usually when it's just me doing everything it's all in my head or it's on my iphone yeah that's about it for this week i just feel really chill thank you so much for watching um i hope you've enjoyed this vlog i've just tried to keep it really chill what have you been up to what are you looking forward to are you going away for the summer holiday what are you doing what's your plans comment below i'd love to know thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel and you've watched this vlog to the end you might as well subscribe and make weekly family vlogs i like to do sit down chatty videos where i could just be real if that sounds right up your street you might as well subscribe but until my next video think smart work hard make it happen bye